Hey guys, welcome to TNG Life and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my 14 weeks pregnancy update. I am officially 15 weeks pregnant um, but I am going to be talking about my 14th week. If you're new here please hit that subscribe button, we'd love to have you join our family. Let's go ahead and get started with week 14. I'm going to go ahead and show you the size of the baby for week 14 right now. At 14 weeks the baby is as big as a navel orange. And if you're into something else this is what it also is. as big as an apple. Ovia app says that it's as big as a brilliant beet. Weird but cute animals is a house mouse. Which is not that cute but it's fine. And for my pregnancy plus app it says the baby's as big as a duckling. Seems pretty big. And this is like the length and weight. Week 14 is officially beginning of the second trimester. And I am so excited to be here. I cannot believe I'm here. I can't believe that the first trimester is over with. I feel like the time has gone super fast, but at the same time, I feel like I felt every single week passing by, if that makes sense. So 14 weeks pregnant. Let me look at my notes here. Um, so what happened during 14 weeks? I had some headaches which I feel like weren't as bad as my 13 weeks. I am hungry uh, pretty much not all the time, but I do find myself hungry if I don't eat for a while um, that I really feel like I got to eat something right away. I feel like during my 14th week, I started experiencing some sciatica and round ligament pain. I've had round ligament pains earlier in the pregnancy, but for my 14th week, I actually had a little bit more that I experienced and sciatica, which is like the pain, I think in the lower back that goes kind of down to your butt area and your leg. Um, so that was new during my 14th week. It wasn't, I think I only had it a couple days, so it wasn't anything crazy, but I definitely noticed it. I noticed that during my 14th week, I started feeling more uncomfortable when I sleep, whether it's bloating or just feeling more bigger and just kinda, I don't know, just, just not comfortable. Um, I try to get comfortable, but I usually don't get comfortable until later on in the night. At first, when I go to bed, it's usually a struggle to kind of find the right place to sleep. I started exercising again during my 14th week. Uh, nothing crazy, just a little bit of weights and a little bit of treadmill. I have no cravings so far. I think my only craving that I could think of, if it is a craving, is a cup noodle soup which is insane. <clears throat> I know it's, my husband's like, no, you can't have that just because it's not healthy. It's too salty and, and all that stuff. But a lot of times when I think about food, like when I'm, when I'm just, when I'm not even hungry, but I'm just thinking about food, I would think about cup noodle soups. I've been a lot more gassy this week, which is not fun. I thought that was gonna stay back with my first trimester, but it didn't. Um, it actually came back with a vengeance. I feel like I get bloated, especially uh, at the end of the day. My, I feel like I just get more bloated and more gassy. Overnight, especially, I get super gassy. I've been having some crazy dreams once in a while, so some of them are just insane. Like, some like, I'm like, wow, like I wake up and I'm like, really? I also have been having mucus. I actually have been having mucus for my whole pregnancy. At first I thought it was because I had like my cough and I was like, I thought maybe I had like a little like cold or something, allergies, I'm not sure what it was. As soon as my cough ended and I started feeling better in that way, I still have congestion in my nose and I get a lot of mucus. Have to blow my nose literally every five minutes. It's just, it gets really bad. I try and use saline water and we use humidifier at night. It helps a little bit, but at the same time, I just get a lot of mucus and 
as I read for this week, it's a common symptom. I really can't wait to like be done with the stuffy nose. Also new this week, I actually noticed that I'm starting to get a bump. It's nothing that you can actually, I mean, at least to me, it doesn't look like, like if somebody saw me, they might probably not realize that I'm pregnant, but I definitely see my stomach different, my stomach getting bigger and it looks different and it feels different. So this week, definitely I started seeing a little bit of a bump starting. Actually, it seems like bump gets bigger at nighttime. So like after all day of like eating or whatever, plus bloat, plus gas gets bigger and more uncomfortable. And then in the morning I get up and I feel less of a bump. So that's just how it's been. But other than that, I don't really have any other symptoms. Those are all of my symptoms for week 14. I feel like I've been feeling a little bit better as far as my energy and nausea. I still definitely gag if I, like when I brush my teeth or if I touch my tongue the wrong way, I definitely still gag, but I don't get as much nausea or fatigue. I feel like my energy is slowly but surely coming back, but at the same time, don't get me wrong, I still get really tired, uh, especially in the afternoons and in the evenings. So I do have an appointment coming up next week. My next prenatal appointment, I will be 16 weeks then. So I will share that with you guys in my 16th week update. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.